Hello everyone! Today we continue working with the classic suit jacket. I'll show you how to make a label. We'll make a collar after a fitting. First we need to make sure that we like the form of the label, its height and so on. Let's have a look at the pattern. I remind you that I'm making this jacket on the basis of my basic pattern. The technique for making a classic jacket is pretty complicated, so I show you everything very thoroughly. I remind you that the center front details in the right and the left sides should match. Before we start drawing the label, we need to decide where the first button will be situated. This is very important. I want to attach the first button here. Let's measure the distance. Twenty eight centimeters. This distance is twenty eight centimeters long. Now we can start working with the pattern. This is the neck base in my basic pattern. I measure twenty eight centimeters down from this point. This is where the first button will be situated. Next, I need to make the neckline a bit wider. I'll cut one centimeter. Notice that I match the details to make them even. I'll cut just about seven millimeters on the center back. You can make a neckline as wide as you want, but you can't cut much of the center back. I'll mark the shoulder top with a marker pen. Next, I need to draw the label line. I'll draw it 2 cm away from the neckline. Now I can draw a label from this point to the first button. I'll sign the line. Next, I can try drawing a label itself. At least imagine how it will look like. I don't want to make a white label. This one is OK. You can draw this detail however you like. I think that the best thing about tuning for ourselves is that we can make anything we want. This is the label line and this is the neckline. I've also drawn the label. I don't like seeing in labels, so I'll draw the line this way. Now I can cut the pattern. You can make a label of any form. Such one, for example. You can also draw it this way. You can even make a round one. Use your imagination. Now I can start cutting the pattern. This is how I'm cutting the neckline and the label. I want these lines to be straight.
Have a look here. The label will be folded this way. I don't want all the seams to meet here, and in order to avoid it, I move the seam 1.5 cm further. Now I can cut this extra piece. Be very attentive. I'll explain what I'm doing. I don't want the seam to be visible when I fold the label this way. I've decided to move the seam to hide it under the label. Now you know how to design a label. There will be a spacing seam on this line. I could make a wider label, but I want such one. I want to be able to wear this jacket almost with anything. White labels make jackets look more fancy. The pattern is ready. These are the front, the side detail and the back. Have a close look at the pattern. Now you know how to make it on the basis of the basic pattern. I have a lot of books and magazines on sewing. Sometimes I find very interesting and useful details in them. But the thing is, that it's easier to understand how to do something, when you see the way it actually should be done. We show you techniques which we use in my fashion house. It took us years of hard work to create some of them. If you know some useful techniques, you can share with us too. Write to my email or my Facebook account. I'm making a very nice jacket. It will fit me perfectly and it will look amazing. I can't wait to try it on. Next time I'll show you how to cut and double it. Of course I'm not going to show you the whole sewing process, but I'll show you some interesting details. Everyone should have a simple classic jacket. They look amazing and can be combined with a lot of different clothes. That's all for today. Be different and beautiful. My name is Pauk Shterina. Guys, please subscribe to my channel write comments, share videos and press the like button. I really need your support. Thank you. Goodbye.